Okay, what we're gonna fix today is the blue screen on LG flat LCD uh, TVs, uh, monitor screens. In order to do that, first you have to order the correct uh, backlight uh, uh, LCD uh, uh, strip. And the way you do it, there's a little gear on your remote like this one right here. You press on that, the menu comes up on the side and you go down to all settings all settings select click ok on that there's going to be a different menu going to come out and the way you do you have to go down to general and we're going to go to general and we're going to go click right and we're going to da go down to uh about this tv click on that about this tv and it's going to download open up the last uh, screen menu and we're gonna go tv information click ok and this is the tv information my model number is right there okay and it shows that my tv has almost eleven thousand hours and it has a bluish screen and it's been annoying so today we're gonna uh, repair that so by the model number if you click your model number and LCD strip uh, backlight you will find the correct one so you can order to according to your model and the second way to find out your model number it's to remove the CTV or look in the back there's gonna be a label and this is what we're looking for that's your model number and serial number so by that number at top where it says LG that's how you order or search for your backlight strip. So we're gonna take this apart and the way you do it is very simple. I'm gonna remove my TV bracket and there is a bunch of Phillips bolts all around the TV that we're gonna remove. Like here, every bolt that we see around is gonna be removed and we're gonna take this top cover off. Okay, I remove all the screws and they just keep in mind in my application, the bottom screws and this one right here are shorter. Uh, it's a much shorter screw than go all around the perimeter at the top and the sides. So I keep them in the cup and I'm about to remove the cover. And of course I'm waking, uh, uh, working my way out from the bottom of the TV and keep in mind there's a one screw hidden between those ports and just work work slowly try to lift from this both corners and then just lift the entire thing up I'm doing with one hand and looks looks like there's nothing holding so I'm gonna remove the okay cover. okay so I removed the cover I put it next to the wall uh, my top is up so once i take this it's gonna go back on the top so i know what side is what now we have the back and we have to disconnect all the all this uh harnesses the cables uh from those boards so we have an access behind that uh metal panel for the lights so we're gonna remove uh, work your way slowly, take pictures so you remember what goes where. Another good tip, I took a, a second cup, so all the bolts I'll be removing, I'll store in that cup, so I know one is for the lid, one is for the, for the metal frame behind the plastic cover. So I pretty much uh, remove all the board, I have separate the speakers, I place them on the side, and one thing I'm gonna disconnect right here, those ribbons the way you do it you pry out the little black top down once you do that you can separate that ribbon and now i'm gonna work a lot around the way all this uh, holding uh, screws that hold my metal frame to the front uh, tv bracket so once again i took my third cup and those bolts look different so now I know this is my frame uh, cup. All the bolts that holds around, I'm gonna remove them into the cup.
So it looks like you're gonna have two sets of bolts. The longer one gonna be on the bottom and the shorter ones are gonna be here on the side. So that's also keep in mind while you're putting them together. Because uh, taking it apart is easy, but taking back, well, you have a bunch of screws. So this is the little guy. So we have a longer and a shorter. Longer goes on the bottom, shorter ones go on the side and on the top. Now that I have removed everything, I unglue this ribbon here that's hold to the to the metal and i'm gonna flip this tv upside down and there's a one more i'll have to separate right here uh that little the sticker tape so that way i have a free access to this wire that will fish back through so i'm about to flip the tv upside down so now my bottom on this side because I flipped the TV. So I separate this uh, tape and the ribbon and I work my way around it from the clips for this frame. So take slow, work from the bottom sides and then the top and I'm about to place it next to the back frame upside down. So. I, I know exactly what way everything goes. Okay, I'm about to flip the LCD screen. I separate those little uh, uh, tape that, that was holding that uh, board in place. So I'm gonna remove, I'm wearing the gloves so I don't uh, put uh, fingerprints. If you have little suction cups, it's good to place it somewhere here so you can lift it by it uh, but me i'll just uh, do carefully with my hands underneath of it okay one more thing we have to do we have to separate another plastic frame that surrounds the screen and it holds to our back metal frame so there's a little tops right here that we have to se separate and work our way slowly around it uh, to separate all around it so we can lift this frame back screen will be uh, removed the white and we'll have access to our light bulbs okay so I, I slowly work the way around the frame it's removed so now there's two white sheets that i'm going to remove and place to the side for everything else okay now i'm going to remove uh, this uh, white sheet and will have access to our light bulbs. The next thing we're gonna remove our fixing, uh, whatever you call them, clips. You just twist them counterclockwise, remove, counterclockwise, remove, and to all of them that you see. The last thing, we'll have to remove that white uh, shield and work your way uh, slowly. Uh, all the way across, removing from the backlight. So I will remove with two hands. I'm about to stop the camera. Okay, and now we have access to our all of our uh, LED lights and they only illuminate two colors, white and blue. For some reason, white being used a whole lot more than the blue. So through the time, white will burn out and that's why you have a blue screen i have a box right there which is i'm about to open and i hope this is the correct lights for my uh tv uh so i'm about to remove so here is only one strip that going back to the motherboard in the back and of course these lights are no good uh, they have adhesive behind them so we're just gonna rip them out basically and then we'll have to clear the tape on the back of it. So I'm just gonna, because they are not good. So I'm not gonna be nice and gentle. So I'm just gonna remove all, all of them and install the new lights. One little thing I forgot to show you how to deattach this uh, wires from the LED strips. And you basically just squeeze two little 
tabs on the top and lift up and we'll separate a very easy connector uh, so now i have my original it's here and this is the replacement and they look identical all the numbers are the same so we are about to install the new strips i'm gonna clean all this uh, uh, tape uh, everything is gonna be uh, cleaned up and I'm going to install the new ones and connect uh, to the wire harness. All right, installing the LED strips. Uh, if you look closely, you have the lines where you have to start. And the way you line up, sometimes you have the marks uh, on here and here and here. And here, of course, I'm not, I'm just uh, laying down, not pressing firmly because when I'm going to put that uh, white shield back for the holes, what if some don't line up so I can uh, easily readjust them uh, to fit a lot of holes. So this is where I'm at right now. All right, so when you install in the light strips, as I said, they are not firmly pressed. But very important, keep closely, line B, right here, you see B? So make sure your LED says B on it, the part number. There's also a D line, it says D. Then again, a B line, a B, D line, B line, and D line. So those strips have to match don't just randomly press them down. So make sure you install them correctly. So now I still can reattach them and I'm gonna try to install the white shield, see if it's gonna line up. If it line up, then I'll press it firmly down. So the way I'm gonna start is I install this shield. Everything lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna first make sure this white screen lines up with all the metal tabs that it's I'm gonna go around make sure everything lines up perfectly because it's very important we don't want to overlap anything so make sure everything is in place and all the bolts lined up perfectly so I'm gonna go line by line installing them pushing them through securing and at the same time I can press down on the adhesive strip that we didn't really push it down in case we'll have to align it. So, so that's that's what I'm gonna do line by line. And in now we're gonna reinstall these tabs that we have to uh, all of them before we're gonna go to the white shield. Now I installed my white sheets and I'm installing that frame that has a lot of clips. Remember we were going backwards. So basically now we go in reverse process. We make sure everything clips and I go one by one all around the perimeter of the screen. So it's very important to place this the stuff so you don't mismatch or flip the sides. So make sure you mark or keep a track how everything removed and assembled back. So after installing all the clips in that back frame, I install my LCD display and make sure you have perfect lineup on every corner, every groove fits in perfectly so you don't want to cross into a sandwich between the two panels because it will damage the crystals inside so i'm just inspecting make sure before i will connect those uh, connectors there and go in the back of the screen and then install in my final frame i just want to make sure lcd installed perfectly and of course now we have to after we put all the clips we have to install all the bolts remember the longer ones on the bottom the shorter ones all around all, all around the frame okay the last frame has been installed 
And now I'm ready to flip this TV back and install the back stuff back on. All right, so I flipped the TV, installed everything uh, that was supposed to go back, those motherboards, the, the, the speakers, the power button, and the last thing, I'm gonna install the back panel back on, which is my first cup of screws that I have used. They are black color screws, which is right here. Not that many of them, I'm gonna install. If you're gonna do this process, the better idea is take a picture of everything before disassemble so you know which screw goes where, and that way it will help the process assembling them backwards. Okay, I assembled the TV hanging back on the wall, and now I'm gonna show you exactly the same screen as we started before, where you get your uh, serial number or model number of the TV. So we're gonna go, same screen, we're gonna go all the inputs. Actually, no, we're gonna go gear. And we're gonna go down to all settings. And I tell you what, uh, the difference is just significant between what it used to be and what it is right now. So we're gonna go to general and we're gonna go back to about this TV. And we're gonna go down to where we, oh, TV information. Go to TV information. And you see what a difference it made. It was all blue, where now it's like natural colors, all fixed. So I have, well, basically at 11,000 hours, I had to replace that. Okay, have a display is perfect. Uh, satisfied with this job, it looks fantastic. $40 for the parts. Also, one, one what I forgot to mention, where you're gonna be display, uh, removing the uh, ribbons, right here on the bottom to disconnect your LCD. Be very gentle around everything uh, because with time and heat, uh, you might damage the ribbon and then, then it's gonna be make a useless repair. So please be very careful. Have someone helping you, assistance, lifting stuff up. That's it, TV fixed. Don't need to buy a new one.